Are our liturgies being done for the sake of being done? Are we going to Mass because this is what people say, that we have to go to Mass otherwise we commit more than sin? Are we here because our wife is telling us that we have to go and you cannot stand her all day long, you know, going if you don't go to Mass? We are here because and we have another agenda. We are here for one reason, to wed ourselves with the divinity. We as humans, we become part of God's. That's what I say in the words over, over the wine. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we share in the divinity of Christ as he humbled to share our humanity. And then the word of Jesus come to play. I give you a great command. Love one another as I have loved you. We cannot celebrate Mass. We cannot really meet. We really don't mean what we're doing. If that love of Jesus, which is at this border, is not the love that empowers us to go out in the world and bring that love in the world we live. Because let me tell you, and you know it more than me, we have good intentions. But when we go there, the evil one wants to take Jesus away from us. The evil one wants to destroy us. The evil one do his best to put us down, to reject the Lord Jesus, and to do opposite of what the gospel intend for us to do. If you really want community to be based on love, we need to work for that. And we need to emerge ourselves in the same words of Jesus. From this, the world comes to know you are my disciples. From the love you have for each other. I pray that the Lord Jesus will touch us in a very special way. To make us understand the great privilege we have to be in His presence, to be this morning invited for the wedding feast of the Lamb. And each one of us has been so called in a very special way that you have been called by person, by reason, by name to this invitation. And what are you doing here? You are giving God your humanity and He has given you His divinity. We are given our nothingness and He gives us His greatness. And that's why we call God our Father because of our Mediator, Jesus Christ, who loved us so much that He gave His life to restore us to the unity and reconciliation with the Father. And together with Him, we are on a journey that leads us to our destiny. I challenge you that the Mass for you will be the highlight of every day, not every week, every day. Because there you will encounter your lover. Because you are a member of the Church. You are the Bride of Christ. And you are encountering your lover. And you are encountering him so that he will endow you with the great privilege of a daughter and son of God and he will share with you the greatest gift of his love the gift of himself and when we have that really the foundation of our lives then don't worry because once you are injected by the love of Christ you will act and you will speak and you will do Christ himself down to those that he came in front of it. Many of you may have heard it many times, oh, he decorated too much. I know I am crazy. You don't, need, you don't need to tell me because I have my certification in paper. But don't tell me that we, when it comes to our weddings of our daughters and 
sounds that even ours. You didn't go to the florist five or seven times. You didn't go to the hall where you have the reception or whatever you are going to use. And you wanted to be so good and so as you wanted. We are here to assist at the wedding feast of the Lamb. When God is coming in glory, and He comes in glory to enable Himself to meet us in this wedding feast. That's why our altars are beautiful. That's why we put too much energy on it. Because we believe that in that box is not a piece of wafer, but it's our God, who is telling you and telling me that He wants to be part of our lives. And we want to tell Him that we want to be part of His life by living His message, united in a very intimate way with Him. And yes, we give Him the best that we can give Him. Because if it's good for other things, it's most, most good to be given to Him. May this celebration of this message of God to his son Jesus Christ, love one another as I have loved you. You come to the words of St. Paul and I conclude with them. I am crazy for the Lord because I believe in the word reject. I preach what the people persecute me for, but I believe in him. The one crucified, scandal for the Jews. Fully for the pagan, but for us who believe, he is our salvation.